Hi, Matt here. I wanted to do a video on how I use a online digital uh, envelope system slash sinking fund system, because they're kind of combined, and how my wife and I use this to work out our monthly budget and how we're also able to fund certain categories in the way that we do things using this particular system. So to start off, uh, what is a sinking fund? Well, every month you're, there's certain expenses that you're gonna have. Those would be your utilities, um, your cable, your cell phone bill, your you know, obviously food, rent, mortgage. But then there are certain expenses that you have to pay that are not paid month to month. Those would be, for like for me, those are things like my car insurance that's paid twice a year or every six months. Uh, another one would be um, like my car, uh, the license and registration that's paid annually. Homeowner's insurance is something that's usually paid annually or sometimes fees, property fees is usually paid annually. And so what a sinking fund does is let's say you know you have a six hundred dollars and a six hundred dollar annual car insurance uh, fee. So that would be six hundred dollars, and I would, the way I would look at it is you would divide that by however many months until you pay that. So for me, I would pay, that's usually paid twice a year, so that's every six months. So six hundred dollars. Well, in this case, six hundred dollars divided by twelve is fifty dollars a month, which is the same thing as three hundred dollars divided by six, which is also fifty dollars a month. So every month, I would put fifty dollars into the car insurance sinking fund, so that when the the bill actually comes, which for me is in June and December, I don't get hit with a three hundred dollar bill that my budget now has to accommodate for. My budget sees, oh, $50 went out into that fund, and then I'll just take the remaining $250 I was saving up all the rest of the time, put that back into my checking account, and then just pay the bill. And my budget, as far as it's concerned, only saw $50 go out, when in reality, it was a $300 bill that actually got paid. But because I had a sinking fund building up this entire time, my budget doesn't get all of a sudden hit with a $300 bill. And the same thing, again, like I said, works with uh, my renter's insurance. That's a few hundred dollars every year as well. So this way I don't have to accommodate for that when the bill comes and it's all of a sudden shock to the, uh, to the budget. So let me go ahead and show you how I do the online stuff uh, down on paper. So this is going to be an overview of how my system at Capital One 360 is kind of laid out. I use Capital One 360 because they have... Uh, you can have unlimited free checking and free savings accounts without any kind of fees involved with that, which is or maintenance issues, which is a really great way to implement this kind of a system. So we start out with I have a checking account that's like the main checking account. We'll call this the main checking account right here, and we'll call it main. And it's a checking account, and this is where I get paid. So I'll get paid direct deposit from my job. This is also the account that I use to pay out any particular uh, like vendors and stuff like that. So we'll go right here, we'll go pay out. And what I mean by pay out is uh, this is where we'd go if, if my wife and I go grocery shopping. This is where I would use a debit card and use that. If we went to the, to the movies or something, I would use a debit card for that. If there's certain um, expenses that are from the sinking fund. So my auto insurance is paid from this account. My uh, renter's insurance is paid from this account. This is the main checking account. This is where you get your normal debit card from with your PIN number and all that other kind of fun, happy stuff. This is the main account that I use and I keep track of. And I usually, generally I like to keep around $200 in there at the max. So I'm always watching that account and that minimum. Now, from here, Switch over to my colors. This is linked to another checking account over here. Right over there. And this account is aptly named Bill Pay. And Bill Pay, we'll use a black Sharpie to represent cash flow. Cash flow goes right through there. Bill pay is a checking account that is directly linked to aptly all of my bills. So this is where things like utilities, oops, utilities. Uh, this would be things like rent, 
Uh, this would be things like uh, the cable bill for internet, really. All right, all of these bills are paid from the bill pay account, and this is also a checking account. Now, something to, I want to uh, really clarify real quick. There are kind of two main ways to do a budget. One way is to do what's called a, a paycheck to paycheck budget. This is not living paycheck to paycheck. This means you're budgeting paycheck to paycheck. So a paycheck comes in, you take a certain amount, it goes to this bill, a certain amount it goes to this bill, a certain amount it goes to food, a certain amount goes here, and then another paycheck comes in, and then you're doing a certain amount to another bill, a certain amount to that, and you kind of, you have a calendar, and you know when your bills are gonna be due, and you do a certain amount of this paycheck to this bill, and a certain amount of this paycheck to here, and this, and, and this to the rent, to this. I don't do that. I do a second method of budgeting where I budget one month ahead. So all of these, wow, all of these expenses right here and all of these bills are actually paid with the current month's paychecks, but all of these bills are next month's bills. And then the other thing is all of these bills are on uh, an auto, auto pay. So what happens is, is the company will then, the utilities company say, you know, will come in and they'll take their money whenever they're ready to take their money out. And what I do is every week, actually every Sunday, I go through the budgeting and I go through the, the bill pay and check to make sure that they actually did in fact take the money that they were supposed to, to, to take out. So for example, and this actually just happened yesterday, I got a bill from the gas company that uh, was for around $70, but they, as of right now, have not taken it out of this account right now. And here's where the issue is. If I had done this and the money was still in the main checking, that means I would have to account for that $70 this entire weekend. And we went out shopping this weekend, we went out and we did a few other things. So I would have to make sure that I kept that extra $70 for the utilities. The rent usually takes it out pretty quickly, but it might be a couple days before my account actually gets funded. This way, if all the money is over here, ready to go, I don't have to worry about it. These these folks can take the money whenever they're ready. I'll double check every week to make sure that everything's on schedule, but it doesn't affect my spending over here. And I don't have to worry about overdrafting, I don't have to worry about overdrawing or any of, the, any of that kind of nonsense. This is its own separate account. And because all the money is there one month ahead, it's all taken care of. I don't have to worry about funding it with what paycheck and whatnot and, whatnot and everything like that. So that's one, you can kind of, you might be able to consider this a little bit of an envelope. So what I'll do is I'll kind of like draw it like a little bit of an envelope right there. And it's, it's kind of like a little bit of an envelope, but it's one month ahead. I have another checking account over here. And this is called food slash entertainment. And it provides cash flow right in the here, into the main. This is the real official kind of envelope. There you go, that's an envelope too. So the way this works is there is, let's say, you know, so my wife and I, we went out and we did grocery shopping yesterday. That came out of, we went to Costco, that came out of here. So we paid out here. And then what I did is I went into the food entertainment checking account, which that's also a checking account. I then took that amount and redeposited back into here. So this is what's actually paying and funding the food, but I'm paying it out through this account because this is where the debit card is linked to. And then what I'll do is I'll go in through and I'll double check and make sure, and I have a, I have a written account of this to say, okay, I write it down. Okay, we went to Costco, it was 100 and whatever. And I write it down and this gets deducted from here. Now, sinking funds. So sinking funds, I'll put these in green. Well, the first one will say, I'm, just, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but these are just some of mine. We'll do, the first one will be uh, goals. Any goals that we have. Another one would be, uh, let's see, we'll circle that. And that is a savings account. Then we'll do, uh, let's say auto insurance. That's another sinking fund. That's a savings account. Uh, let's do, um, what's another one? Uh, we, well, we have a car fund actually. That's a big one. All right, got a maintenance and repairs and stuff like that. 
Uh, let's, let's skip a few. Let's go giving. That's another one that we have. Um, and then finally, let's go down here and say, eh, let's just go ahead and say Costco. Okay. And these are all these are all savings accounts. So here's what happens. I get paid a certain amount of money, whatever it is, for the, for the paycheck. The budget will go through and says how much for each one of these funds to put out as well as how much to put in for the bill pay. Oh, and then I guess one final one to put down here, which is gonna be a little bit hard to show up, but I'll move this up a little bit. And this is what's called what I call holdings. This will make sense here in a second. And that's a savings account as well. Paycheck comes in, whatever it is. The, go through the budget and the budget will say, all right, so much needs to go out into bill pay, so much needs to go out for each of these sinking funds. I'll then go ahead and fund each of these sinking funds depending on how much the budget says. Money never leaves these because these are sinking funds. These, these bills will come up when they're ready to come up. The one exception is holdings. Holdings is money that we put for food and entertainment. So what I'll do is the paycheck will come in and I'll just tell you right now, this is 500 a month. And then what will happen is, say the next month rolls around. What I'll then do is I will take this money from in here and I will feed it back up into there. So now that 500 that was sitting in here from the month prior now fills up this envelope. And now we can go out and go do shopping, we can do whatever we need to do, if we're gonna go have entertainment. Then we fill this back over once we spend the money on that. Bill pay is already filled up from the month prior because that's just the way the system works. These th folks will go ahead and take their money out whenever it is. And whenever these bills get due, so let's say for example, the, you know, I need to bring the car in, for example. If I need to bring the car in and you know, the bill is whatever that might be, 100 bucks or six, actually probably more like 60, $70, I will then, if the car is due for its maintenance or whatever it is, I will then go ahead and I'll just do this in the dash line. Bring it up here, spend money, bring it up here into check, use the debit card and pay out the money. And the reason this will work is because now, the, as far as the checking account is concerned, as far as the budget is concerned, all it sees is, oh, the car had, you know, was paid. Uh, usually for the car fund, we usually do $80 a month. The, the budget just sees, oh, there was an $80 checking account or it's an $80 fund for that month. But what really what it was, there was actually maybe there might have been, you know, it might have been a hundred, couple hundred dollars. Maybe something needed to get fixed. Maybe there was a, the tires needed to get replaced or something. I actually had to do that this year. But the budget never saw that. It never saw that large expense because all it saw was $80 going out and the fund was just filling up and filling up and filling up, kind of like a pool of water. And then I just channeled that money into here and then paid out with the debit card and everything was fine. So I hope that better explains how I'm able to manage our, fi our family's finances with a combination of uh, sinking funds and an envelope system, kind of all under one digital roof, if you will. And it doesn't have to be Capital One 360. It can be any account that, or any bank account that allows you to have multiple checking and savings accounts without any fees. There's no point in paying any fees for this kind of thing. So if you like this video, be sure to go ahead and give me a little thumbs. I really appreciate it. And be sure to just go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more content just like this. Take care.